Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Indolis, and welcome back to Terraria. Last time we went to the corruption, um, that direction, broke some shadow orbs, released a meteor onto our, our world, and attempted to try to find the... My inventory is full. Uh, attempted to try to find the goblin uh, tinkerer. Uh, let's just do this. And, okay. Cool. Any space left. Uh, we can put some stuff in here. Let's put this stuff away. We got a musket last time, which is kind of cool. Um, not super important to me. We also got the ball of hurt, which is a flail. Which is also something that's not super important to me, because, eh, it's not going to be terribly useful. Um, nobody lives there. That is a valid housing, yeah. Okay. Oh, it was... no, okay. I think somebody might have died, but I don't know who. Tungsten helmet can go away. We'll keep the shine potion for right now. But let's get rid of all the stuff. I really need to sort my inventory out. Uh, I will do that at some point uh, in the near future, um, but probably not until a future episode, not until a couple episodes, um, but anyways, because I record these in bulk, and I haven't, I haven't really had time to prep or anything like that. Uh, I've been behind since the holidays, so I'm trying to get a backlog, and this being an every other day series, it can be a little challenging. But let's kill that. Alright, um, so today we are going to go look for the meteor. Uh, I would like a couple things from that. Uh, and then otherwise, we are going to potentially go to the corruption and see if we can't take on the Eater of Worlds. Uh, I had to remember if that was his actual name or not. It is. Uh, the reason I get confused is there's a hard mode boss that is the destroyer of worlds. Very similar name, but not quite the same. Um, there's a couple things that I would like to try to do relatively soon, but uh, the big thing is trying to just get the, uh, the goblin tinker is probably the most important thing. I'd like to try to find the, uh, the meteor wherever it fell, um, and yeah, there, there's a couple things I would like to try to do before we go into expert mode that's going to take some time. Uh, we are fairly overpowered at this point, but, ooh, snowstorm. Uh, new things might spawn, not entirely sure. But yeah, so uh, we are a little bit overpowered at this point, but that's not going to last very much longer. Uh, once we hit the wall of flesh, we will be very weak. And honestly, uh, Skeletron, uh, which is technically the third big boss, uh, don't think we have much chance against him at this point. So let's get some so uh, Shiver Thorn while we're here. I like this effect. This is relatively new to the game. Uh, it happens during the rain. But this is a blizzard. Uh, we're going to want stuff like this later because it's going to give us a couple of uh, new monsters to kill in hard mode that are going to be very useful uh, to tr try to beat. And we have a penguin. This is a critter. Uh, I could capture the penguin. And I think I will. <laughs> Penguins are cute. Uh, then in the desert, we might have... Oh, hey. It's just raining. Let's kill the antlion. Let's get the water leaf. And I'm still not seeing the... Uh, thing. Uh, why am I blinking? The meteor. Uh, there is the slight possibility that it landed on one of the floating islands, and if it did, that would be bad. But we explored the other direction last time, and it wasn't there, so... 
It's gotta be this direction. If it's not on a floating island. But meteors have a chance of falling every time you break a uh, shadow orb. And typically they won't fall within, I think it's like 15 blocks of a chest. So you, you don't really have to worry about, uh, at least not in this version, you don't have to worry about the uh, meteors destroying your base. Uh, however, in older versions you did. Alright, so we're at the dungeon. This is the old man is Skeletron, by the way, in case you didn't know. Um, don't go down there. Uh, there are these things called Dungeon Guardians, which are nearly indestructible. We will destroy one much, much, much later. And there is the meteorite. Alright, so this is going to be fun. This is not a bad place. So this is the meteorite. There's a lot of meteorite ore. Um, the meteorite will set us on fire if we touch it. And these guys, the meteor heads, will spawn constantly um, because we are technically in what's called a meteor biome. Now, if I can get them all to come from the same direction, uh, I shouldn't have a problem with them. But if they uh, are attacking me from multiple directions, then that will be a problem. So let's come over here. Let's get in the water. And we need to heal. Let's get the meteorite. I'm trying to see what's going to be the best way to handle this. Let's, let's dig down like right here. So the gold pickaxe is relatively fast. Um, and if I can get the... And I died. <sighs> Alright, so we found the meteorite. That's good. Um, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge to uh, mine, but it's not going to be terrible. Uh, I might have something that could help, though. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, there should be, in one of these chests, a potion. Visibility potion won't really help. Um, calming potion's not going to help. What quest do you want? Caverns. You know what? Let's go... Let's go do that. Let's go to the caverns. Let's find and... Uh, catch a uh, fish for the guy, the, the guy. I went too far. Alright, so let's find a fi the, uh, the voodoo fish doll thing um, for the angler. We need to do more quests for the angler. Um, like I said, I need to do that off camera, but um, the reason why I want to do this is go ahead and try to find um, the Goblin Tinkerer, if I can. There is a worm. Let's get some bait for our fishing rod. And we do need to find an area that has a decent amount of uh, water. I also need to make sure it is low enough. I need to see if I can't find the goblin. So I think this will work. I think. Let's find out. Uh, so do I have my fishing rod? I do. Let's fish. And see what we get. So I don't want to do this too much on camera, but... getting fish that's worthwhile at least I like to try to get this and then we'll explore a little bit and try to go mine that uh, oh that stupid thing again the meteor all 
Alright, come on. Oh, we don't have bait. Never mind. Uh, eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna bore you guys with fishing. I do that off camera. I'll probably do a bunch of quests. But let's explore a little bit. Uh, the reason I want to explore is the Goblin Tinker is by far like the best in PC. Okay, I saw something down there and I didn't think it was him, but could have been. There's a mouse. Let's come down here. And... We can swim fairly freely, so it's not a big deal to go with the, the water. Uh, the only thing that's bad about it is trying to find our way. If we come down here and we can find... Uh, a nice big open area. Alright, let's... Hmm. I guess we should light things up a little bit. Uh, do I have a shine potion? I do. That'll help. Alright, let's get up here. Not really anything up there, except for some gold. Ow. I knew that was there, and I still walked right into it. Um, okay. Background items sometimes look like good things. That looked like a, uh... A, uh, like, wheelbarrow full of gems and stuff. Wasn't anything, but... Alright, so there's a lot of water down here. You know what? Let's get some bait. And let's see if we can't get... What are you? Oh, the slime. Um, let's see if we can't get the, uh, the quest fish for the day. I'm not going to spend too long on this. Um, but this could be worthwhile. Uh, unless we don't get anything. Then not so much. Alright, that used my bait immediately. And the guy wanted to go inside the little house. Okay. I don't know why, but... It might also be the next day. Oh, no, right there it was. Alright, so we can't spend too much time down here. Uh, let's go this way just a little bit. And see what we can find. Don't want to ride the uh, the minecart track, but that was a trap. Um, all right, so in the ice biome, it's a little bit more dangerous to deal with things, but ooh, gold, a lot of gold right there. All right, I don't see anything. Let's get out of here. And let's give the angler his stuff. We got fishing potions. Okay, cool. Um, those will increase fishing skill. Let's you get more stuff faster. And let's put the meteorite in here and the gold ore in there as well. And we'll put the bait and all of our money. Alright, so... I'm... Hmm, let's try to find that potion. I know I have one. It's not in there. Uh, it might be in one of these out here. So we have crate potions. Those are good for when you want to fish, but... For what I want to do, not really. Um... Could probably sell all the recall potions. Don't need that. Sonar potions are good. 
Let's throw that stuff in there, but I'll see what I'm looking for. Here we go. Obsidian skin potions. Um, provides immunity to lava. That's going to be really useful later. Uh, I think. I could be wrong, but I think they also give immunity to fire blocks. So if we go this direction, we should be able to get back to the meteor uh, relatively soon and mine that up without too much hassle. Uh, we're going to need quite a bit of it. We're probably going to need to harvest um, a couple meteors to get everything I want. Um, but the big thing that we need to get is uh, our first magic weapon that we might actually use. I haven't decided yet. Because uh, we could get better armor uh, through through the meteorite. But the armor isn't the best. So something that I haven't really talked about because it hasn't really come up because I don't have it uh, is set bonuses. So uh, a set bonus is just what it sounds. It's a bonus when you have a full set of, uh, in this case, the armor. Uh, so if you have all gold armor, you get a bonus. Um, I have been working with kind of mixtures of armors. I haven't found enough stuff to get all of one type of armor. I've got two pieces of gold, and then uh, I've got the Ancient Shadow Helmet, which is the uh, Corruption, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a Corruption Armor. So it is okay, but it's also not um, giving me anything. Uh, now the Meteorite Armor, the Space Armor, is actually really... It's really good in one sense, but the set bonus is it just makes uh, the magic weapon consume no magic, which I only have 20 or 40 mana, so that would be something good. Um, so if I can get enough for both things, then I think that's what we'll do, but if not, I probably won't use the, uh, the magic gun yet. Uh, just because mana is kind of short supply. Uh, I'm not much of a magic user. In fact, typically I prefer yo-yos. I love the yo-yos, and I'm so glad I got the, the Amazon. Uh, we need to find the Goblin Tinkerer just because uh, that's going to help us. <sighs> okay. I want to go see the Traveling Merchant because he has something that I would like to get, um, potentially. Uh, if he has the item, then it's going to make finding the Goblin Tinker a lot easier. But uh, once we find the Goblin Tinker, we can make our gear a lot stronger um, by reforging it and getting the modifiers that we want. So yeah, there's a lot to this game to get like the best equipment. And usually you want to do mixtures. We got an enchanted sword really, really quickly, um, which has been a huge help. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm so overpowered, is getting a, a sword this powerful early on is pretty luck-based. Uh, I don't usually find... Um, let's take a potion. I usually don't find the... Uh, cool, so yeah, we can stand on this stuff now. Uh, I thought that was going to be the case, but let's get out of that and let's come over here get our money back. And then we can come down here and just mine all of this that we can. Uh, if we can get the meteor, the meteor heads coming from the same direction, um, we should be okay to get uh, we should be okay to get all of the meteorite that we want just because they're not going to be able to do much. But we'll I'll probably switch back and forth. Alright, so we have three. Um, yeah, typically, uh, I don't know if this pick is going to be fast enough. But typically, uh, you can do this and just use the knockback to uh, keep the meteor heads at bay. Uh, an alternative idea that we could do is if we can get some sort of uh, sentry, which I don't know if there's any like minions that we can get at this point, 
Uh, there's a slime stack, but that's incredibly rare. Um, yeah, that that is kind of the only thing I can think of that would be good. Uh, is getting a minion to kind of take care of these guys. Uh, let's... Okay, we missed him completely. So let's just keep mining as much of this stuff as I can get. And then switch my sword and kill these guys. Alright, so we have a minute. Try to get as much meteorite as we can. Let's heal as well. Don't want to die. Uh, these guys are good for a uh, money farm just because they do give a decent amount of money. Uh, you can farm it pretty easily, but I probably won't. Uh, if anything, I will make a uh, shark farm slash jellyfish slash barracuda um, in expert mode, hard mode. Not expert mode, we are in expert mode. Um, there are different fish that are really good um, that you can make, you can make uh, farms in the ocean uh, to kill stuff very easily and quickly uh, and safely. Uh, and that just gives you a lot of loot and money and all that fun stuff. But we have already got one platinum, which is rare actually. I don't typically get that much money. I don't actually know how we got that much money, but we did. Uh, we also have like 40 some seconds, so I'm just going to get as much as we can. And go from there. So let's kind of optimize getting this video right. I'll probably mine this off camera, the rest of it. The obsidian skin potions are not too bad to make. Uh, they do take obsidian, which we haven't really gotten. Um, we could also make... There is a uh, item that would uh, do the same thing. Alright. So am I safe here? Hopefully. I don't seem to be on fire. And yeah, we got most of the meteorite. Uh, so you know what? Let's burn. Let's go home. There we go. All right, traveling merchant. Do you have what I want? Do you have what I need? You do. Okay, awesome. So, ooh, that's nice. But we don't. We're not gonna use that anytime soon. Uh, yellow counterweight. Uh, I've already got a green counterweight, so that's kind of cool. Ooh. That's five platinum. Wow, that's expensive, though. Okay, let's uh, deposit all. No, I didn't want to deposit all. What am I saying? I want to... Uh, I guess it didn't really matter. I didn't have all that much on me. Um, I didn't want to deposit all, though. Let's get the life form analyzer back. So we are going to first of all see if we can't make some meteorite bars. So we can make a lot. Um, now let's see, can we make the space armor and the space gun? Uh, so to give you an idea, the shadow helmet has six defense, increased melee speed. Um, the meteor helmet has five defense. So it's not as good, but it's not too bad. We can make all of this stuff, and then we need a space gun, and we have one meteorite bar left. All right, so I'm gonna mine the rest of it and probably not worry too much about it, but we have the stuff. So typically, if we wanted to use this, um, let's actually favorite that, uh, which you do by holding Alt, uh, left Alt. That is, the laser gun, and I'm already out of mana, but I'm gonna take this stuff off because, eh, I'm tired of wearing my ugly sweater. I like the sweater actually, um, but I do believe I can switch things back and forth. 
So now we have uh, the set bonus. Space Gun does zero money, or it requires zero uh, mana. That's the word. I do like how the space armor looks, and we get this nice cool flame effect. Uh, but also not something that's needed. Uh, let me see if I have a chest that has some inventory space. That one does. Let's put that there. I really need to sort my inventory. Alright, let's quick stack. Awesome. So with this guy, we can... See if there's re rare creatures nearby. Um, now last thing we're going to do, we're going to take our space gun and we're going to go explore um, down the normal area we go to because it actually doesn't matter where you are the goblin tinkerer does not like spawn in a certain location uh, he spawns around you and I don't know why the double jump was not working and now we can just sit here and fire this forever uh, it's not a bad gun 24 24 magic damage, excuse me, uh, isn't too bad, and that is with all the bonuses and everything, because this all gives you 7% um, magic damage increase. Ah, uh, which way do we need to go? This way, okay. So yeah, the only thing we need to do now is try to find the Goblin Tinker, and all that's going to take is just exploring down here until it says uh, Goblin Tinker nearby or Bound Goblin or something like that is what it will say so once it says that we can search for him see if we can't find him but yeah so this gun does uh, pierce which is going to be really nice for the next boss and it does like I said, decent damage. Uh, it is a little loud, so I do apologize for that. But, eh, what it is. It is what it is. Alright, let's... Keep going this way. It does also give light, which is nice. I'm not seeing any rare creatures yet. Uh, there are a f handful of other rare creatures that we could encounter. But they are rare, so not likely. Uh, the Goblin Tinker is not nearly as rare, shouldn't be, but we, I mean, we haven't found him yet. Uh, hopefully we find him soon, though. Alright, so, where are we? Let's go down this way. And it's still hard to hit stuff sometimes. No rare creatures yet. Uh, I'd like to find the Goblin Tinkerer before we call the episode. Uh, let's use this. This is a little less annoying. I will admit, I, I understand that the, uh, the space gun is a little annoying, but it is a cool weapon. It's a decent weapon. Uh, especially with the space armor. Ooh. Undead miner. He gave us a bomb. How nice of them. Alright. So... There's some demonite. That's not really going to help us. Alright, let's go... Let's, can we zoom out a little bit? Uh, let's go down this way. I want to get out of the snowy area. I don't like the snowy area all that well just because it is a bit of a pain to deal with. Uh, getting the, the cold effects is annoying. But so we're down here again. Um, there is plenty of stuff down here. This goes down to the lava. The traveling merchant left. Oh well. Um, 
Still no rare creatures. This is kind of annoying, but hopefully I can find them. In fact, I might... There's Obsidian. We want a decent amount of that for something later, but right now, it's not going to be too important. Uh, can we get across? We can. Uh, let's go up here, and then... There's nothing. Okay. Uh um, There's a lost girl. Um... I don't know that I want to deal with the Lost Girl. Uh, so Lost Girls are interesting. Right there she is, right up in the top corner. Uh, and you know what? I think I think we're going to continue caving and all that. Uh, actually, you know what? How much money do I have? I don't have much money. I have a feeling I might die. So that's why I wanted to look. So the Lost Girl, if you come up and try to talk to her, she turns into... The nymph. And the nymph is very strong. But luckily, this yo yo is way too overpowered. Because she would probably kill me in like a couple of hits. But she's dead. And she gave us the metal detector. Oh my gosh, that. That is awesome, actually. So if we can find the. Uh, if we can find the goblin, things would be nice. Uh, we can get a couple of things that are really cool. Uh, let's break through this. So you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Um, leave you guys in some suspense. We will check out what's... No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's check out what's in this chest, and then I am going to call the episode. Cloud and Bottle, Jester Arrows, Night Owl, and a Gold Coin. Cool. Let's actually consume that. So I am going to call the episode here. Um, next time we will continue looking for the Goblin Tinker and go from there. We might do some uh, some other stuff, some fun stuff uh, in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys then. Bye!